Welcome back to the Vengeance of the PC Wabash. I am in the kitchen making green chili and mac and cheese out of the Cowboy Kent Rollins cookbook. Probably the finest mac and cheese recipe I've run across. It's good. So I got my water boiling, getting ready to get the cheese and all that stuff going in this other pot. I have my green chili chopped chilies on the counter, some garlic, doubling the recipe, so I got six cups of mac and cheese, five cups of milk, and the flour, whatever, ready to go. Cooked the bacon last night, so now we're ready to get down to cooking. Alright, so, first thing we gotta do is boil, or get our macaroni going. Get that ball and turn the heat down a little bit. Let me get some salt. I think it keeps everything from sticking, I reckon. So we'll throw a little salt in there. A wooden spoon. So mix that up. I got my bacon grease because we're going to add a little bit of that. So I saved that. So I got that on the snow melt. So large pot of water right. bring my pot over drain the macaroni in the biggest colander I got and then put it back in the pot there we go there we go give us a stir make sure we drain good it's going to be too difficult, so I'm going to be using, try to use this big scoop right here, so I'm going to put it back in the pot. Alright, meantime, still getting our milk and cheese up to temperature. Alright, we have got the cheese mixture where we want, I mean uh, the milk flour mixture. So next we're going to stir in the garlic. Get that incorporated pretty good. Then who's next on this hit free? And the cheese goes in. Five cups. I'm gonna have to switch that out because that whisk ain't gonna be heavy enough. All melted. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks good. Looks good. Ah, got my chili peppers. Mild chili peppers. Three cans of them. Going in the pot. Incorporate those. Mm -hmm. There's my chopped bacon. There's a six slices, double twelve, so basically a pound of bacon. Bacon, salt, and pepper. I believe it. the bacon probably got enough salt in it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of pepper. Not a whole lot. If you want more you can put it on after the fact. Just a little bit. Because not everybody's tasting salt and pepper is exactly the same. That's what we reserved from yesterday. It's right here. So I'm going to put I think about three quarters of a teaspoon. Oh, tablespoon or two. All right, there we go. Now that's good. That's take care of that. Now we'll incorporate that. All right, I elected to pour that into my big 
mixing bowl because of course it's tapered on the bottom but this gives me a little bit of elbow room a little bit of playroom because I just didn't know if my I had both my big bigger pots with me one of them had the cheese mixture one of them had the macaroni and cheese I just didn't know once it was all combined if there was going to be enough room in my pot so let me put everything over in this one and that's like half the cheese mixture and that's the other half so we got to clean that up can't be wasting the good stuff can and besides it makes it easier to wash salad I will prepare the top but the topping has to be cooked for 10 minutes at 350 degrees so I will do that when we get to the scene and that hopefully will loosen up the mac and cheese a little bit which it will be a whole stick of butter because like I said I'm doubling the recipe whole stick two cups of mozzarella cheese combined with some rich crackers so one sleeve of rich so two sleeves of rich six tablespoons of butter well we're back that is the pan I'm taking. I might possibly be taking that pan too, or I might have some for lunch. But I go on to channeling my Justin Wilson. This is the best mac and mac and chili mac, whatever you want to call it. That's the macaroni and cheese, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm back at the stove mixing half of the top, melting the butter. I'm going to put the Rich crumbles in here just to incorporate, and then I put that probably in a gallon bag. That way, it'd be easy to crunch up and spread over the macaroni and cheese because this is going to have to be heated with the mozzarella as a top. So, I put the rich mixture, then to top it with the mozzarella. We get this tossed about. There we go. See right there. That's pretty loose, but it's got a little bit of butter flavor now. So what we're gonna do is do this. Alright, I'm just gonna transfer the crumb mixture to this bag. I might leave this little corner for that. Is, are we taking both of them? Huh? Alright, so we're taking both of them. So, I don't need to reserve any. So we'll just go ahead and get everything put in this. Bag. I don't want to spill anything. Then I have to clean the floor along with the dishes. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That's the crumbles. For the topping, that's good. Go 
ahead and put a lid on that one. And a lid on hmm, not that one. Maybe it's this one. I have to go look. Anyway, we got some more lids in the other room. That one don't fit that pot. Oh yeah. And it's cracked, so it's probably no, no good. Well, if you like this video, I cook, can, do all sorts of stuff in the kitchen. But, Cowboy Ken Ross and his wife, Faith, family, and the feast. I guarantee this is the best mac and cheese you'll ever eat. Like it, share it, subscribe it, later.